Hey fellow Longview area realtors, it's Amy Tabor and Amber Scholler. I know we pop up in your mailbox a lot uh, marketing our auction properties, so we just wanted to take a second and explain that to you and what it would look like for you as another realtor to bring us a buyer in that process. Um, we get questions from y'all all the time because I know you see our properties and <laughs> Uh, what I want you to know when you're representing your buyer, um, first of all, you are going to get your commission, just regular commission, just like stated in the MLS as if it was a traditional sale. Um, another thing for your buyer is there's going to be a buyer's premium. So for round numbers, if a high bid, a property sold at $100,000, we're going to add $10,000, which is the 10% buyer's premium and we're gonna write the contract for 110,000. So that's, um, that's where the buyer's premium is applied and that's how we take care of commissions um, and the auction company and everything like that. Um, the other thing is there's a 10% deposit due from the winning bidder. It's not to get registered. Um, it does not cost anything to register for the auction. Um, but if you are the winning bidder, there's gonna be a 10% deposit due that day. We're gonna take that to um, the title company and they'll hold it in an escrow account. Um, there is a 30 day close, You're, so your buyer is welcome to get any kind of financing they need. Of course, it can be a cash deal, but you are able to do conventional FHA, VA, USDA, whatever the case may be. Um, the property is sold as is. Uh, your buyer is welcome to get an inspection beforehand um, at their expense. Uh, but the property will be sold as is with no repairs. So that is something to consider. I feel like I'm missing something. Um, I think that was it. Okay. Other than um, the terms and conditions of the auction are always in the MLS docs along with the seller's disclosure, all of the regular documents. But we do put that um, term, list of terms and conditions not only for you, but to, for you to share with your buyers as well. Okay, I remembered. I knew I forgot something. <laughs> Uh, the buyer is going to pay all the closing costs. The seller will provide the uh, title policy, but the buyer is going to pay for all the closing costs. The title policy and the prorated taxes for the uh, year. Right, of course. Um, <clears throat> and so other than that, you know, if you have that client where they have zero money to put down, an auction property is probably not for them. But uh, the, these retail real estate auctions that we do, um, they are different than the foreclosure auctions. They're different than the properties that are sold by the county on the courthouse steps. Um, and they, but they are open to the majority of people. So we just want y'all to be aware of that. I know a lot of people see the word auction and they're kind of leery. They think they've, it's gotta be cash and they've gotta be an investor and they've gotta be able to write a check that day. And that's just not the case. So we just want to take some time to inform you of that. Feel free to contact us with any questions and we'll walk you through the process because I know it's a little bit different and it can be a little bit intimidating, but we uh, want to be open with you. We want to walk you through the process and answer any questions you may have. Okay. That about covers it? Yep, that's it. So thanks for taking some time to watch the video. And like she said, just give us a call with any questions that you have and we'll be happy to help you um, understand what the process looks like and how we can help your buyers get into a property if they're interested. So thank thanks. you.